All right, guys, it's uh, Sheridan420 uh, getting ready to show you all the new rolls on all the new, not new weapons, but on the weapons. This is uh, starting off at New Monarchy, and uh, here we go. First of all, let's go to New Monarchy, like I said, and we'll uh, talk to them. And uh, we'll go ahead and start off with most likely the Righteous, yes. Well, this gun is a pretty cool gun. I do like it myself. It's pretty cool looking. It's got SPO 26, SR 41, perfect balance, old frame, lightweight, reinforced barrel, as well as counterbalance. All right, counterbalance is what you're going to want to use, as well as the perfect balance. Lightweight's pretty good. This can be uh, a pretty cool gun. I mean, the, it's a pretty quick rate of fire. It's got low impact, but, you know, we'll have to test it out and see what happens. Then you have the appellant, okay? This is not that great of a hand cannon as compared to everything else, so I would not advise buying it. True sight, sure shot, quick draw. We've got last resort. Hand loaded, small bore. Rifled barrel and hidden hand. Hidden hand is pretty cool. You know, I can't, I uh, gotta say that myself. But, like I said, compared to other ones, it's not the best hand cannon to go with. It's this sidearm, though. This conviction, too. Look at that rate of fire. Holy crap. With rangefinder. Oh my. This is freaking awesome. Alright, you got fast draw. Sure shot. Uh, it's all depends on what you like. Rangefinder. Aiming this weapon increases its stability. Spray and play, hand loaded, high caliber rounds as well. I mean, this thing can be used in the right hands pretty, pretty awesomely. I, uh, I advise getting this gun as soon as possible. All right, we'll go over the burden of proof shotgun. Amazing looking shotgun. I mean, I'm gonna tell you that right now, but not worth it. I wouldn't. I'm not even gonna really go over everything to be honest with you. There's a lot more shotguns that you can that that'll work better than that. Then you have the antinomy. Sniper rifle. It can still res snipe based on the way the uh, the res thing has been changed or whatever. You got explosive rounds, quick draw, injection mold. Neat looking sniper. Not as good as other sniper rifles, obviously. You can get better. So if I were you, I would. Then you have the objection machine gun. Uh, it's just a basic old machine gun. Nothing special. CQB, smooth, field choke, counterbalance. Do like counterbalance. High caliber rounds, old frame, small bore, and range finder. That, I do like the range finder. It does have 35 rounds in the magazines as well. So. Yes. Yes. Alright, you got the deal breaker. I do like the deal breaker, but not anymore, really. All right, LD Watchdog, crowd control. Okay, that's always cool. Counterbalance, high caliber rounds, as well as speed reload. Brace frame. I'd go with brace frame, obviously, to get that stability up there. Be able to land those shots on a head. Anti portal hindsight auto rifle. This I'm not even worried about it. I mean, this is just it's it is it's it's a cool looking gun. That's about it. I don't think it's really that special. You could do better. That's for sure. All right, let's move along. Now we got the hawksaw, 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 hawksaw. Go to gun. Pulse rifle. Look at this. Slow, spo, and spo 57. Fitted stock. Old frame. Counterbalance. Small bore, single point sling. I mean, come on. With that small bore, with that increased range and stability, that's what to go with. This is always going to be a good gun, and it was not buffed or nerfed, so it was not touched. So I definitely get that hawksaw. Lax extremity. The last choice. Byronic hero. Last choice. Panther ray. Eh, not as good as the other fusion rifles, so I'm skipping it. Next big thing. Skipping it. Havoc pigeon. This is an amazing gun, but. With these rolls, I wouldn't go with it, to be honest with you. It's not as good as the old rolls, that's for sure. Ruin Wake, Tawaya, and the Smolder. They're, you can get better. We all know about those guns. If, were, if you want to look at the other stuff, go ahead. Now we got Dead Orbit. What do you think? 
their guns brings me here this morning. Paleo contact. I love the paleo contact. But this roll, it's kind of a confusing roll. Hit fire, perfect balance, old frame, reinforced barrel, and Icarus. Uh, I, I mean, I guess Icarus, if you're one of those guys with uh, the Titan that can float and the Warlock, I would go with it. Hung jury. This is an awesome one. Candle, flash, and signal sights. Life support. Single point sling, feather mag. And you got third eye. That one is one of the best ones. I've always loved third eye. With hung jury, with that accuracy, I'd go with hung jury, that's for sure. You gotta pick up this gun as soon as possible. Patch A. Basic good shotgun. You're not gonna, you know, you could get better, but it is what it is. Final round, that is what it is. Knee pad, single point sling, and nothing special. Nothing special. Extra Solar, I think this is a really pretty, badass looking gun. Pretty. I think it's a really cool looking gun, but it's basic. You can get better. Series lost to AMG. It is what it is. I mean, nothing special. So let's move on over to the Vanguard Quartermaster. We got the Answering Cord Auto Rifle. We got the Questing Beast, which I do like. The Apple Discord. And then not like the others. The answering cord, I don't know. I do like it. But I don't know if it's going to be what you need. Okay, you got high caliber rounds. A pended magazine. And single point sling. And you got reinforced barrel. And spray and play. Spray and play, I do like. That is where this gun is going to hit its high point. Then you got the questing beast. I think this is a really neat looking gun. You got red dot. Come on. Reflex as well as QEG. Spray and play. Old frame. Fitted stock. Will of light. Will of light is a pretty new thing to get, get it. Which is pretty neat. It goes gets extra damage against tanked enemies. Which is always is going to help. Bleh. Apple of discord. Pulse rifle. Lordy lord. Um, I, pulse rifles I love. You got head seeker. I mean come on. That is amazing. Counterbalance. Snapshot, I think this is a gun to go with as well, possibly. If you're good with pulse rifles and you can handle it, I'd go with it, that's for sure. Not like the others. Eh, let's, just like the others, let's not buy this gun. <laughs> it's a scout rifle. There's millions of scout rifles like you can do better with. Not even going to go into the explanation. Okay, guys. Explosive rounds, pretty cool. Casket mag, eh, whatever. And Hannibal and Third Eye. Third Eye is, is something cool with it. But there's other guns with Third Eye that you will use a lot better. Down and Doubt. This could be used good, but the range. Nope. This gun sucks and lacks in range. You will not hit things. Maybe if you're amazing with it, go ahead and try it out. But I wouldn't advise buying it. That's for sure. You got a Long Far Gone. Basic fusion rifle. You can do better. I'm not even going to go into explaining it. You got Hidden Hand. Uh, enhanced battery accelerated coils I always go with accelerated coils at least for me you got the jabber hockey d sidearm this is a good sidearm i do think it is quick draw sure shot crowd control which is awesome battle runner speed reload and skip rounds don't see how skip rounds are going to really do much but oh it's the way it is what it is Move along, thousand yard stare, the go to thousand yard stare. No, wait, conspiracy theory. I'm an idiot. Conspiracy theory D. I would go with this shotgun, maybe possibly the older version of it, but this is still a pretty cool one. You got performance bonus, reinforced barrel, sort of Aegis. Because it's what I have the chance to grant bonus reserve ammo. I uh, don't know. Kind of a weird setup. I'd have to use it to check it out. Thousand yard stare, the old go to. I mean, how could you get, make this any worse, or make this uh, any, any not not as good? All right, you got armor piercing rounds, old frame, malice maleficarium. Goes after those wizards, unflinching. That I do love. If you are a good sniper and you get start getting shot at, that unflinching will save you. That's for sure, because you'll get that shot off before you start flinching too much. You got the Diluvian 
very similar to the other machine guns. We're not going to go into that one. Then you got the Caleric Dragon, like a, just like any other rocket launcher, nothing special. I'm not even going to go into it. And we got the Future War Cult, which I think has some of the best guns and the best rolls right now, besides Dead Orbit. So let's go with the Vanity. I mean, look at this Vanity. This is probably one of the top hand cans in the game, I think. I think. All right. First of all, quick draw, sure shot. And you got third eye. Awesome. Awesome. Extended mag. Rifled barrel. As well as life support, which will give you life support. And then exhumed. Let's move along to the villainy. Talk. This is the first gun that anybody needs to go and buy. The Villainy Pulse Rifle. I mean, this is amazing. You got Head Seeker. Come on, Head Seeker out of Pulse Rifle. It's like what that is made for. Perfect balance. Get that stability all the way up. Reinforced Barrel. See if that works for you better. But perfect balance is what to go with. Glass half full? Come on. With the head, with the head seeker and the glass half full, you'll get those body shots. Then you'll get the damage buff. It'll move up to the head because your automatic, uh, what's the word? The recoil, obviously. And then that's there. You go. You got your death. You got your kill. It's there. I mean, what are you gonna do then? Then you got the vortex fusion rifle. I love fusion rifles, okay? So I'm gonna love this. Reflex sight, improved aim assist, red dot, aura, OEG sight, hip fire. Yeah, hip fire on a, on a fusion rifle is always good. Lightweight, braced frame, and accelerated coils. Probably lightweight or accelerated coils. Eye of the storm, more accurate as your health gets lower. Uh, it, I'm sure it'll save you, help you out sometimes. The vacancy. This is the fusion rifle that I would probably go with of, other than the other one. And definitely above any other fusion rifle being sold by a vendor. You got hot swap, brace frame, enhanced battery. As well as range finder and danger close. Both of those are amazing perks. You're going to be able to use them and they will come in handy. That is for sure. The vacancy. I love these names, right? The Vertigo. No, the Variable Machine Gun. The Variable Machine Gun, eh. It's just like the other ones, all right? You, there's better machine guns out there, but the magazine has 52 in it, which is pretty sick. That's a lot of bullets. Um, the, uh, the rate of fire is pretty high as well, which I do like. I mean, you can't go wrong with that high rate of fire. It's really nice. Then you got the Vertigo. I think it's a neat, neat looking rocket launcher. It looks almost like a race car. You know, um, javelin, run, whatever, quick draw. It is what it is. It's nothing that special. You can get better. That is Thanks for, for sure. watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please tune in next time. Subscribe or like.